Hello Capricorn, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your weekly reading and this is for uh, February 21st through the 27th for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Whatever the universe wants you to know, 21st through the 27th. What's important for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus to know please? What are they dealing with? Their, their situation. One more, please. Oh, wow. We have the lovers here. So let's see. With the Empress. Okay. And the Queen of Cups. This is all about love. It can be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I have Taurus here. I have Gemini. It doesn't really. But man, this is really... Someone is attracted here to this Queen of Cups or vice versa. But it's very abundant love. It's nice. The Ace of Pentacles being crossed by the Queen of Wands. The Ace of Wands. A lot of beginnings, guys. A lot of beginnings. Mars and Venus is in Capricorn together. Currently transiting. So I feel like this is particularly for those placements. If you have a lot of Capricorn placements, you're feeling the love now. Oh my God. I... We're doing so good. Hopefully that uh, that is a necessary ending there. We'll see. You have two tens. I'm going through the emotions. I'm sorry. As I see each card that is coming in. The Queen of Pentacles and the Judgment. Okay. All right. A lot of tens. Behind this Queen of Cups, there's wealth, inheritance, money, legacies. But also there's a broken heart. What are you dealing with? You're dealing with a very good opportunity here, a good chance, a tangible prosperity, money, something here, again, that you feel it has growth, it has potential. It's being challenged by this Queen of Wands, which I feel like the Queen of Wands is holding on to this wand here that is all about passion. Here we have that opportunity, the portal to open to something prosperous, but it, it has with something to do also with passion here. A new beginning. It's like the Queen of Wands is like... Th there's a conflict between this earth and fire energy. Both in a way here, I feel like... Okay, how do I go about it that is tangible? And what is the motivation behind this? What is this spark? What, what is this passion? That's what's challenging this prosperous new beginning. The Queen of Wands is looking at it in a very passionate way. Uh, but the Ace of Pentacles is a little bit more, it's earthy, so they need something here to be practical. This is because recently, guys, something has come towards you with the Fool. Maybe someone took a leap of faith, maybe there was a fresh start, a new beginning. All these, by the way, are about new beginnings, as I mentioned before. But I feel like this is, a, because it's a major arcana, something has happened to open the door to this prosperous uh, or potential uh, beginning here with someone or with a particular uh, situation. We will see when we clarify. Now, you are thinking that the best situation with the sun here to be, unless it's a Leo for some of you you're dealing, but you're thinking the best situation is just to be open. Uh, happiness, joy, looking at things in an optimistic way. Joy, um, euphoric rush, I feel like. The, the sun here is like bright, optimistic. Who or what is coming towards you is someone that feels like, wow, timing was not right. This is someone, a son in Gemini, by the way. Someone or something that feels, this is it. It's like, I feel like an overthinking or someone rushed too quickly and then got backstabbed. We'll see what. It is mental, guys. Um, it's like the timing is not right with the Ten of Swords. Or someone is like, I'm tired of going through this process of overthinking and negative thoughts and obsession uh, overwhelmed by all these thoughts it's like these thoughts are killing me so we will see what that is because you're getting retribution so retribution and renewal energy with the judgment so i feel like this is a good opportunity since you're starting something new now your behavior with the nine of wands is very much here that uh and you have it too i don't know if some of you if you watch other readings but this has been 
consistent here with um, collective now in your um, situation is in how you behave or what your is uh, weakness here or your strength your strength is that you are still going strong here you are not giving up this is that resiliency there is like I'm, I'm willing to do anything here for what I believe is my passion for what I want also with this energy is someone that is also very guarded to protect here what they have been going through all this time you know I've, I've built this high wall and you know I'm not going to let someone just take it down now external to you you should be aware that someone is trying to move on um, away from conflict they might also see you that you have moved on but this is you are going to be influenced by someone that is ready here to leave conflict behind uh, in your hopes and fears is your queen of pentacles now of course this may be you i'm getting a lot of queen energy it can be also because we had that emperance as well but uh, the queen of pentacles is the opportunity here remember i said there's something about how this opportunity this chance that is being presented that you're looking at it in what way the queen of pentacles is holding them pentacles something here of value of stability and then it's being challenged by this queen of wands that is holding the wand here that you have when it comes to your you know true desires your heart your potential so it's just i want something valuable or some of you again maybe between these two energies i want something stable i want to know that there's going to be here commitment or stability or security you are going to this is with a judgment as your potential outcome there is an epiphany there is here a renewal that is something that finally whatever it is this ten of wands that has gone through a lot and you feeling like i cannot you know give up right now this is your call is being answered your prayers here i feel like are being answered that is this renewal purging plutonian energy pluto is in capricorn too and for some of you with late degree capricorns of course you have felt it um a lot so let's see that judgment though i feel like it's savior type of energy that's how i see it because again you're thinking in a very positive way all right Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles, please. One more. The Queen of Swords. <laughs> How many queens I'm going to get here? There's that, you know, uh, practical mind of the Queen of Swords looking at this situation. It's like a, a calculated risk, this new beginning, this new potential. Is with someone that has made a decision to take this leap of faith but again it's looking at it objectively logically what is that please one more oh wow the lovers okay we know that is about a connection if you are uh, any of this beautiful energies here um, we have the queen of wands queen of pentacles queen of swords other people may also get involved here it can be friendships as well but the lovers is coming as uh, a connection between you and someone else it's like someone feels like i have to take this leap of faith i do see the queen of swords that has gone through some um, separation or some type of this is my single card my divorced person or the person here that is trying to make a decision where they don't get wounded but it's definitely guys i'm going to see how the rest this is the lovers the comeback of the lovers the new opportunity here towards a magnetic connection a soulmate connection and it's because something recently someone took that leap of faith so uh you know this has a new beginning yeah I'm, I'm getting messages quick messages so uh this will kind of help you to know if this is your reading too guys if recently something has come in your life here of um you know fresh new beginning new start or um you saw the pathway to starting uh, something new with this person that's your reading okay so let's see here what is the queen of wands one more okay now i'm getting the 
masculine energy, the king of cups. Look at you, the devil. These two together create such a steamy energy, the uh, queen of wands and king of cups. It's like passion, emotion between two people, desires. The chance is there, but someone else is trying here to think. That queen of swords, I feel like, is not letting this easily. It's trying to... Um, to stay detached, sorry, the, uh, the Emperor. What is the Queen of Wands and the King of Cups? One more. Death card, Scorpio energy. There's been some type of a change here, guys. Transformation between you and another person. Again, I'm getting a magnetic pull. I'm getting a connection. I'm getting a leap of faith. But also, it means like there's an ending here uh, between you and someone else. I'm getting one person is making a decision to start another journey and I'm getting a couple here that have gone through an ending, a transformation. Something started to, uh, here for you guys. It's like the passion is on, the desire is on, but it's like someone cannot act right now quickly with this Ace of Wands. It has to look at the Ace of Pentacles, something more tangible. What is the Ace of Wands? One more. The world, I'm telling you, the Nine of Swords, the overthinking. It's been a, um, a lot of suffering in silence here or looking at this a long journey. Uh, some of you from a distance here, there's a spark, a passion from a person from a distance, but mostly I'm getting that a cycle was closed and something new began. Saturnian energy is like someone closed this cycle, karmic or otherwise, and now there's potential for a new passion. Let's see what the fool is. One more. Yep. Okay. This is a new start of something that has been waited, avoided. Who had this combination? I don't know if it was cancer. It was another sign that had this combination, by the way. Yes, this uh, new beginning was someone that has been waiting for a long time. It's like ready to take uh, this leap of faith. There's also been avoiding confrontation here. I don't know who I'm connecting with, but I'm, I'm getting that there's is a lot of drama going on here. It's like a long awaiting energy that's finally starting to come up here. Um, the lovers are ready to start a journey together. Was avoiding something. That's how I'm getting. So let's see what is the sun. Tell me about the sun. One more. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, this is a big week for you guys. Big week. You know, you're okay with it. Whatever has happened here, look at the tower. The tower in this situation for you is a blessing in disguise. That's why I'm getting there's a purging here. Um after the tower, always we have the sun coming up. There are certain things here that, okay, uh, that facade, or what does not work anymore. You're hoping for a surprise or you're hoping finally that after this big momentum here of, um, you know, sudden change, it, finally things are going to be happier. That's what you're hoping for. Happier times. Let's see, what is the Ten of Swords? I don't know. I, I have to tell, I don't know if I'm going to connect with this reading. I'm a, I feel like there's way too many um, events going at once here. What is the Ten of Swords? What is the Ten of Swords, please? One more. The Seven of Pentacles is in the past. With that, um, again, it's clarifying this new beginning. And the Eight of Pentacles is with the Ten of Swords. To me, whatever in the past that someone put work, but again, I feel like 
or was the shortcut or as I mentioned was an avoidance this is the ending of something that does not work anymore this literally is like an ending of a I'm not going to put an effort here on something that does not give me what I want That's, that's what I'm getting with that. The Eight of Pentacles is working away and progressing, but the Ten of Swords is it's like someone is feeling this is not happening. It's not how I saw things. Again, because you are, you see things now completely different, Capricorn, with the Tower and the Sun. And I, I feel like you have gone through this change, and now the only thing that can happen is happiness for you or joy, or you don't want to hold any more, uh, you know, things here bottled up. So whatever it is here that is not someone is not willing to work. You want, as I mentioned, the foundation is because there's a new passion here. There's a chapter closing and you want to go towards a new beginning, a new passion. But this means there's something else here that you have worked or a person here that is coming that feels like, okay, but I thought um, there was going to, you were going to put, put effort or something was going to work out. What is the nine of wands? One more. This Queen of Cups. Someone is very, very careful, very guarded not to open up. It's like I'm getting a closed off uh, situation here. The Queen of Cups, which is coming again. Capricorn, there's someone here that you truly, you truly want to be with. But you are so... Uh, not only you're tired, but this is a fear of rejection. This is a fear of abandonment. If this is not you, this is your person. This is what is influencing you. Someone here that you have an intuitive connection with this person. Someone has been left out here, has been abandoned or felt left out. I'm getting that someone is, um, is trying to move on here with the Six of Swords. Or you might be looking at you, but there's this... I, to me, the Nine of Wands is still wanting, still desiring, but feels tired. Has gone through a lot of uh, obstacles, challenges, and now feels like I have to be careful here. I have to be careful because, you know, what if I will feel left out? What if I get abandoned? What financially poor here? Very Piscean energy, very intuitive energy. I'm sorry, guys, for some of you, if this is confusing. Um, it, it's very specific, I feel like. So, what is the Six of Swords? Tell me about the Six of Swords. One more. The Ace of Cups. Okay, so external to you, what uh, this movement is, away from conflict towards love. With the Ace of Cups. You guys have so many Aces. So many about potential and new beginnings. It's not easy. Again, something with the Ten of Swords is painful. But you have a lot of potential. Even external to you, the universe is saying that this is smooth sailing towards new love, towards new beginning. The Queen of Pentacles is in your hopes and fears. Let's see. One more. The Hierophant, and such a Taurus energy, by the way. The Queen of Pentacles again, Page of Cups and Knight of Cups. Okay, so we that's commitment to me. That, that is both commitment, stability, vows, promises, faith and belief. That's what it is. That's what you're hoping, that there's something tangible, something here that is offered between you and someone else at the same time I feel like there's another couple here that are going through an ending I like the queen of pentacles and the hierophant because someone really is ready for commitment true love true dedication also faith and belief is like someone is very much believing in um, staying very much grounded and ethical and believing that what's supposed to happen here between the two lovers is going to be it's very spiritual connection what is the judgment as a possible outcome. One more. Guys, you're getting communication. 
this is opening the door here but those two cards together to me it's communication um if you're thinking what is a chance here thinking analytically thinking logically towards someone that again that is a fear of rejection that is a fear of if i take this leap of faith what will happen uh, are we going to end up together is this a moment um where you know the heart wants what the heart wants but it's being crossed again by um by a couple here that are going through big transformation and endings and again it's because a new beginning a cycle some of you at distance um it's like to me is like going uh towards this person with a possibility of a new passion yes in the past there's uh, been a lot of avoidance a lot of waiting let it's it's been this let's see what happens you know let's see what happens entirely not exposing or not saying anything withholding certain information and seeing but then recently someone said okay i feel like this is the start of something big and you're thinking that even if the tower falls in the end is better than what you have right now at least that's what you think possible something to change in you or this person completely to open to towards that happiness uh, the realization that is coming in is that you know what that means is certain things here cannot work the way someone has planned there's no perfection here the eight of pentacles sticks for perfection details that that's not happening with the eight of wands the eight of wands is mercury and sagittarius it acts quickly swiftly you know goes with this you know this is my sign sign it's just someone says like okay this is the moment of truth you are going to be able here to find truth you're going to uh, have communication with someone you are also are going to think fast and quick uh, when it comes to this purging. I really hope this resonates with you guys. Um, thank you so much. In the extended, as usual, we will see what's going on with your love life. Thank you. Bye-bye.